Have you ever seen a homeless couple make out? As if they found wealth hidden inside of each other's lips. Maybe they measure success by slowly kissing the day away. She tastes like metal in bus stops. They exchange gritty hugs like old dusty photographs, swapping junkyard smiles. They sleep in the corners and walkways of silver public parks. Where cracked coffee mugs soak on pennies, their skeletons shake and tremble in the middle of the night. Using each other's body heat for radiators. All they own is a beat up bruised boom box with James Brown cassettes. Backs like Dave is Dave. Loved and walked through the city for miles. Holding each other's lungs in their hands. Eating cigarettes for breakfast. Morning pigeons chirping their heartbeats. Their heartbeat sounds like cold train. The last call on that metro rail train knows their name because too often they sleep on these seats. Who am I to say that they are not happy? Who am I to say that they haven't found prosperity and running their fingers through each other's dirty hair? Who am I to say that they don't know God? Have you ever seen a homeless couple construct castles out of fallen autumn leaves and burgundy bricks? Torn newspapers for bed sheets. No wonder they sleep beneath the current news. I know why the homeless have poor diets. Because society tries to shove others' beliefs and ideologies down our throats. Stop soaking on superficial and materialistic happiness. Fuck getting married in the church. Fuck getting married on the beach. What if they just want to spend an eternity on the beach? Because they're infatuated with the ocean breeze licking their temples. The wind caressing their cheeks. The waves hugging their toes. He kisses her feet. The rest of this world has labeled them dirty. I believe their filth is beauty. They found refuge on the steps of downtown public libraries. Before they met each other, they were decayed like abandoned buildings, condemned to loneliness. But now, now they kiss. They stopped searching for a brighter day because they found the most marvelous sunset in each other's eyes. No roof over their heads. They wanted to sleep beneath the stars. They are stars, two shooting stars on a collision course with destiny. Fingers like bottle rockets because they feel like fireworks when they hold each other's hands. Very wheels and kind candy made out of liquor for lips. Their kiss was the most loveliest car crash I had ever seen. They kissed like a stampede. The sound of the lips smacking felt like a thunderbolt drum buried in my chest. It was raining rocks beneath my bones. There were boulders passing through my body as I saw that homeless couple kiss on that broken bus stop bench like the beat. My heart dropped. I felt godless. No human being could have ever imagined such magnificence. Empty pockets, but their hearts were made of gold. There were treasure hidden in the trash. There were love found in the fog of hate because watching them kiss was like admiring the horizon through a polluted sky. And then the city bus came. I got on, they stayed. Paid the bus fare with the quarters I take for granted. I sat down, looked out of that window when I saw two flowers. Made of metal with stained and unwashed petals, but they were beautiful. The bus took off. My eyes locked as they faded into the cement. They faded into that gray skyline. The flowers disappeared into the city. They were invisible again. Maybe I'll see them one day. And so then I know that love, even beneath the garbage and concrete, it still exists. I know those two metal flowers still exist. <laughs>